Hey yo, what's cracking everybody? Your boy Bongo's back and today I have a very special video for you guys. As you guys can see, we are in the infamous Albo Corky kitchen, all right? There's shit popping off everywhere, but hey, it is what it is. We're in this kitchen today. Today we are gonna be making a very special bar, one of my favorite bars ever since I was a little kid. I really enjoy my crunchy bar. So guys, today we are gonna be making a DIY giant crunchy bar it is going to be fantastic we are actually going to be making the honeycomb toffee that goes in the middle ourselves from scratch so we'll get to learn about all that during this video behind the camera today we have none other than your boy Swayze baby Swayze Nation stand up Guys, make sure you go check out his channel after this video is done. I will leave a link to his channel at the very top of my description. And guys, before we get into this video, I need you guys to go down, smash that thumbs up button. You guys have been killing the like game. Absolutely blowing my mind with the like. Last time I asked for 25,000. This time, we're bumping it up a notch. I want 30. Thousand likes. If you guys can crush 30,000 likes, I will do yet another DIY giant chocolate bar. I know you guys have been liking them, so I trust in you to smash 30,000 likes. And as well, guys, make sure you check me out on all these social media platforms. I'm super active on all three of them, so make sure you go check me out, and I might just reply to you or snap you back or whatever the case may be. So make sure you add me on all of the platforms. So without further ado, let's get into this DIY. All right, guys, Bongo's Kitchen, organize efficiency this is a multi-layered bar essentially we're gonna go with chocolate then we're gonna make the toffee level in the middle another layer of chocolate and of course add the final touch of chocolate at the end now while everything is going we have to be smart with our time so I started heating up my double boiler this is where I'm gonna be melting the chocolate and in the next pot I have a bunch of sugar and that is gonna be our base to our toffee so in this pot guys I have three cups of sugar in this bowl I have nine tablespoons of corn syrup this this corn syrup is going to be added to the sugar right now so we're going to go ahead take this corn syrup right out of the bowl and that is going into our sugar like so here get all of that corn syrup out there make sure you're not wasting anything guys we don't want to be wasteful in addition to the nine tablespoons of corn syrup we are going to be adding six tablespoons of honey guys this is just your regular honey so we're just going to be adding that guy into the sugar right here boom golden honey six tablespoons like I was saying make sure again guys we're not wasting Wasting anything so use a spatula for this that's gonna be great for grabbing everything out of your bowl all right guys so once your ingredients are in the pot we actually just want to start mixing everything together so here we go we're gonna start giving it a mix why not here 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 all right guys so as you can see the corn syrup and the honey is kind of starting to absorb the sugar but essentially we don't want to see any more white sugar okay so keep on mixing until all the white sugar is dissolved and it is all totally mixed in with your corn syrup and honey all right guys so we've mixed this up for a couple minutes now as you can see all of our white sugar is now no longer visible in the bowl we now have a golden concoction in the pot itself so what you guys want to do now that your concoction is all mixed together is turn your oven on to a medium high temperature more than six but definitely less than eight all right guys we don't want this to burn so we're gonna give this guy a couple minutes for it to start melting once it starts melting we are then ready to put in our thermometer and that way we'll be able to keep an eye on the temperature of this toffee guys making toffee Again, it's an art form. You can't just throw a bunch of ingredients into a pot and hope for the best. No, we got to make sure that this is bang on right on the money. So we are looking for 140 degrees Celsius for this one. So we're going to wait for it to slowly start melting. And once it is melting, we can then add in our thermometer. But while we wait for our toffee to start melting, we are actually ready to start melting our chocolate. As you can see, guys, our double boiler is going pretty ham. So we're going to grab our big old bag of bulk barn chocolate jig. I'm going to open this bag up like so and pour in a bunch here okay that's enough here now that our chocolate is in the pot we are ready to start the melting process so here we go alrighty guys so we've started our chocolate melting process now if you take a look at what's going on with the toffee you can see that it is actually starting to melt a little bit and it is starting to bubble just slightly so what we want to do now is we actually want to take our thermometer guys this is a candy thermometer all right so what we want to do is adjust this guy just a little bit and we're gonna try to get it into the pot itself so there we go now we're gonna watch this thermometer until it hits around 140 this is exactly where we want it right here so we'll give this a little bit of time to melt now back to our chocolate our chocolate is almost completely melted we 
are almost ready to pour in our first layer into our chocolate bar, so stay tuned, guys. This is gonna be a good one. Alrighty, guys, so the chocolate has completely melted. We are ready to pour in our first layer of our DIY giant crunchy bar. Here we go, guys. I have my tin, and this time I did not play myself. So I took some advice from some of you guys that left comments in my previous videos to tape my parchment paper into my tin, and honestly, guys, that worked fantastic. So thank you to whoever commented. You guys are my lifesavers, Mongolians. I fucking love you. So here we go. Our chocolate is ready to be poured. So we're gonna take this guy off the heat, and we are ready to pour in our first layer of chocolate. Here we go. Here, here, here. We'll get all of that in there. Now, guys, a crunchy is predominantly toffee, so we don't want a lot of chocolate at this point in our chocolate bar. We just want to create a thin layer of chocolate, and this is gonna serve as the top of our chocolate bar so we don't want too too much we just want a little thin layer of chocolate on the top so there we go now guys as always we're gonna give it that one two shake and bake trick and ta-da just like that guys we are ready to put this guy in the fridge to cool while our toffee is on its way all right guys so as you can see our toffee is starting to bubble a little bit this is exactly what we're looking for but if we take a look at the thermometer all right guys quick update on our toffee it is bubbling up a lot more this is what we are looking for but as you can see our thermometer isn't quite there yet but don't be afraid if you see these bubbles this is what's supposed to happen guys all right you guys so we got to move quick here because our sugar has reached reached 140 degrees Celsius. So it is time to take some baking soda. We're gonna take a couple tablespoons of baking soda. So we're actually gonna be adding six. One, two, three, four, five, and six saws. And there we go. Now, guys, what you wanna do is take a whisk and start to whisk all of your sugar together. Now look how it automatically creates. Oh, geez, okay, okay. Oh, okay, oh my God, oh, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. okay, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, oh my god. Ah! Beautiful! 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 This can all come right here. What the heck is going on? This is crazy. Ah, it's hot as fuck. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Holy <laughs> what the fuck okay, is this? Okay. We're gonna stir this guy in. <laughs> Holy guys. Vine boom, vine boom, vine boom. <laughs> so many vine moves. Alright, we're gonna whip it up like so. Holy, I did not expect that, guys. Okay, yo, it's rising by the second. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, we are gonna grab our chocolate bar. Yeah, let's fucking do this. Okay, here we go. We're gonna pour some in. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice. All right. It's still rising. Holy. Now, what we're gonna try to do, we're gonna try to even this guy out here, okay? Try to even it out as much as possible, and then add some more if need be. This is extremely hot. Okay. Here, here, here. Now, press it down a little bit more. Holy, guys. Is this edible? Bro, yeah, this is totally edible. I had no idea that that was gonna happen. Holy fuck, are you serious? And we're gonna give it that one, two, shake and bake trick. Oh, it actually smells like coffee. There we go, and into the fridge it goes. Like, yo, yeah, yeah, don't worry about that, I'll clean it up. It's going in the fridge, here we go, boom, into the fridge, wow. What a rush, okay. Guys, I'm sorry for not looking at the camera. I didn't expect that to happen. Guys, take a look. We have, oh my God, look at this. Eat it. At least it comes out. That looks yeah. good though. It's pretty fucking good. Guys, be careful when you are making your toffee part because like, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> did not expect that. So be super careful. I didn't think it was gonna poof up as it did, but it looks pretty blessed still. Look at this here. We are gonna leave our chocolate bar to fully cool down because I don't know how long this stuff takes to cool down but we need it to be crunchy we want it to be exactly like a crunchy bar so we'll give it some time and we'll catch up with you guys a when this is clean B when the chocolate bar is ready to come out of the fridge so stay tuned alrighty guys so we've cleaned up the disaster that happened inside this kitchen it was really quick just use hot water if that happens in your kitchen hot water will solve everything but our chocolate bar has been in the fridge for around half an hour now I think the toffee should be all hard and ready to go so let's check up on that Ooh, we all right. So it is nice and hard. Now, guys, what we're gonna be doing is using our last layer of chocolate to even out this chocolate bar on the bottom. So I've already gotten started on melting the chocolate. As you guys can see, it is ready to be poured using that double boiler technique here, here, here. So we grab our pot of chocolate, and now we can take our tin and pour our last layer of chocolate in like so. Here, here, here. And guys, make sure you get it all. We'll give it that one, two shake and bake. 
bake trick, but as you guys can see, the chocolate does not completely cover the toffee, so we'll move it around so that it does completely cover the bar, and we'll be adding a little bit more to the top of this guy just to even out the entire bar. Here, 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 and guys, that way it should evenly cover the top of the bar. So we'll try to get all the chocolate out of the pot, guys. We want to make sure that it does have a nice flat bottom. Now, guys, of course, the one-two shake and bake trick. Boom, boom, and boom. There we have it, guys. We've completed our three layers to our crunchy bar. Now, what we're gonna do is throw this guy in the fridge and let it sit for about half an hour. Once that is complete, we can then cover the chocolate bar to give it that extra chocolate bar vibe. It's a vibe in this kitchen. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we have left the chocolate bar in the fridge for about an hour now. I want to make sure that it is completely hard all the way around. So it is time to reveal our chocolate bar. Here we go. Let's take a look. Open up the fridge, Oz. Ooh, okay, okay. So overall, not as flat as we originally planned, but this will still do the trick. So here we go. We're going to flip this guy out of the container. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh, okay, Ooh. okay. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. So guys, gently remove your parchment paper from the chocolate bar. Oh, baby. Let's go. Let's continue to carefully take off this parchment paper. Yeah, this can come off like that. That can come out like that. Alrighty, guys, so we've removed the parchment paper from our crunchy bar. There is a little piece left and whatever, but guys, if you have little pieces, make sure you take all the little pieces off from your chocolate bar. Alright, guys, so what we want to do is we actually want to do that two bowl technique, alright? So we're going to put two bowls underneath. We're going to grab our chocolate bar put it on top like so as you guys can see there is a nice layer of that chocolate a nice toffee layer and of course the bottom layer that's holding everything together this is exquisite this is exactly what we're looking for guys so far so good so for our final step we are gonna give it that chocolate bar vibe it's a vibe in this kitchen guys i told you once i told you twice and i'll say it a million more other times until you guys get it i'm the baker's man <laughs> I'm the baker's man. I'm the baker's man. Alrighty guys, so here we go. I'm about to pour the last layer of chocolate onto this bad boy and we're gonna start here. Yo oh baby. Alright guys, be nice and gentle while pouring this chocolate here, 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 here. Now, what we want to do is once this chocolate is poured, and now we're gonna Brian, bro, there's jokes. What we want to do is we want to grab our spatula, fill in those holes with the extra chocolate. Now, you'll see that the toffee does stick out. So easily grab some more chocolate, put it on the side, and apply another coat. Keep doing that. Oh, until... Let me see what you got here, Volga. Oh, my God. Oh, my <laughs> fucking God. Get out. Get out. Yo, Dave, there's jokes. So, guys, complete your chocolate bar by applying layers of chocolate on the side, Oz. And that will absolutely cover your chocolate bar all over. So, we're gonna do that on all sides. All right guys, so once you've applied your chocolate all around the chocolate bar, you have to give it that real life chocolate vibe. So the crunchy bar guys has a bunch of little waves on the top. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take our spatula, we're gonna remove any excess chocolate and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the side of the spatula and we're just gonna give it waves. It's a vibe. So continue like that throughout the whole chocolate bar and once you get to the end, you guys wanna repeat the same process the other way and that's gonna give it an extra chocolate bar vibe. Alrighty guys, so check it out. I have made my ridges on the top. It is starting to look like a DIY giant crunchy bar. Now it is time to leave the chocolate bar to cool down, guys. We want to make sure that this is rock solid. We're going to give that guy sufficient amount of time to fully cool down. And then we are ready to taste this DIY giant crunchy bar, guys. I am so excited. Alrighty guys, so we've left the chocolate bar to sit on the counter for about 45 minutes to an hour now. It is fully rock hard, as you guys can see. But it's Time to take the chocolate bar from the uh, contraption thing we've uh, made here. So guys, be very, okay. Guys, that was easy. I'm gonna put that back down. All right, now we are gonna take our DIY giant crunchy bar and there it is guys. DIY giant crunchy bar, take it in. Here's the first cut of our DIY giant crunchy bar. Here goes nothing, guys. All right, all right. So we've made it past the first layer. Okay, I think I start to feel that's all oh, okay. Oh my god, here we go. I'm gonna break this guy. All right, time for brute force, guys. Yeah, ooh, take it in. 
Take it in, guys. Mmm, that looks delicious. The toffee layer, we got the chocolate, the chocolate on the bottom. What can I say, guys? Yet another successful giant DIY. I'm on a fucking roll here. Now, everyone's favorite part, let's give this baby a taste. All right, so here we go, guys. First piece, I'm just gonna start off with a little one. Check it out, y'all. Bro, I'm a fucking DIY chocolate bar king. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. That is a crunchy bar. Another one. That's foul. That is insane. I'm actually way too good at this. Right? Yo, 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 Ryan, there's jokes, bro. Oh. By the way, guys, John's on the camera now. Here. Here. <laughs> All right, Ryan, give it a shot. Bro, you hear that crunch? It's actually crunchy. DIY oh, giant shit. crunchy. No exaggeration, that's a crunchy bar. You want another bite? Hell yeah. Here. Give me a big one. Yeah. Crunchy, yeah. DIY. Well, have you had a crunchy before? You know. Okay, that looks like a crunchy off the top. You've had a crunchy before. So obviously. now, will I be saying the golden line today as per usual? Let's find out. Are you fucking bought a country? You didn't make that. I fucking made I didn't it. Make that. Watch my video. No, no, like there's jokes and there's actually <laughs> making giant crunchies. Yo, Shanye. Oh fuck. <laughs> what? What? Yo, what the fuck? How are you making this? <laughs> that looks like it tastes better. <laughs> Oh my god, Jesus. Oh my god. I'm so happy I came. This is so good. <laughs> Let me just say, honestly, I this is it. beautiful. Thanks, bro. This is not homemade. This is some ordered stuff. Look at these ripples. You see that? I got the real, legit. The real country ripples in it. Thanks bro, for noticing. Bro, knives are like lacking though. Um, like, can, can you get a better knife, please? All right, okay. Since uh, these knives don't do the job properly, oh. and I don't have my machete with me. Oh my god. Jeez. Oh, Dustin, there's jokes. That's a crunch bar. I like that. Bro, that's blessed. I wow. like that. Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, thank you so <laughs> Back up, bro. Just stay in one spot. Yeah, don't move your hand. Stop shaking, stop shaking. Alright, perfect. Uh, no, no, there. Ah, there you go. Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I had a great time making this DIY. Giant crunchy bar. It tasted fantastic. The chocolate, the top, it all came out great. Given that we almost fucked the entire kitchen up. I thought I got this home already. Oh, I'm sure. the hell? <laughs> Huge shout out to the main man behind the camera, Ryan Swayze, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy Swayze, baby. Don't ever forget. <laughs> make sure you guys go check out his channel. Guys, smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you leave a comment down below of what you would like to see on this channel next. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. Alright guys, thanks again for watching and until next time. Take it easy. It's fun easy.